Hi everybody, this is Father Moki coming to you from the rectory at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church here in Wailuku, Maui. Today is Thursday, July 6, 2023, and this is Chicken Chat. Uh, I would like to announce that uh, this coming Wednesday, once again, uh, we will have Bible study at 4 o'clock in the afternoon in the St. Matthew's Conference Room. We'll stop at 5, take a short break, and then go down to the church sanctuary for Eucharist at 5.30. Uh, like I've been saying in church, it's a wonderful way to... Uh, to honor the middle of the week and uh, for me personally to help get through uh, the rest of the week. So we look forward to seeing you there. That's uh, 4 o'clock Wednesday p at, uh, in the St. Matthew's Conference Room, followed by 5.30 Eucharist in the uh, church sanctuary. Um, last week I told you all about Gladys. Uh, Gladys is um, now accompanied by Gertrude. Uh, they were together at the house in Wailea. They came together uh, from the big island and we decided that they should be together. So uh, we called up the folk who were holding Gertrude and we said we'd like to have her come and live with us. And so they brought her up right away. It's going very well, um, except um, I'm really, really struggling to stay ahead of these dogs and to keep the house clean but that's good because it gives me uh, something to do and keeps me busy and gives me purpose and meaning in my life there we go get a dog everybody uh, we had a wonderful uh, weekend of worship uh, in spite of the fact that it was the 4th of July weekend. We had a good turnout and uh, very lively uh, services, including some um, dancing to Achy Breaky Heart uh, after the service itself. I don't know how he did it, but Ferdinand managed to take the words to Amazing Grace and put them to the tune of Achy Breaky Heart, the moves of which I learned in the Philippines. Pinch. You know, you dip like this and then you go back and you turn and all that. Uh, of course, I forgot all the steps, but it was still a lot of fun. We are a joyful, worshiping community, and for that I am very, very grateful. Uh, San Evangelista and her team ate. Uh, did the Ka'ohana Kitchen this past Sunday and I want to say thank you to them not only for taking charge but for sending me home with some fabulous meatloaf that uh, Ed Evangelista made and so um, I was very very happy and so were Gertrude and Gladys who got to share in the spoils of that meatloaf and then uh, this coming uh, Sunday the Ka'ohana Kitchen will be taken care of by Forever Family and Friends uh, under uh, the direction of Auntie Daryl Atai. Uh, at this time I'd like us all to please uh, take a moment to remember everyone on our pastoral care list. Let us pray. Irenio, Eric, Purificacion, Marianne, Nelly, Mary, Joyce, Ewell, Iris, Paula, Jim, Margie, Amy, Lydia, Velma, Bill, Judy, Lucille, Patricia, Catalina, Maggie, Shirley, Kathleen, Dolores, Jerry, Jay, Sue Ann, Robert, Jacinta, David, Darlene, Arthur, Jim, Harry, Jose, Brittany, Timothy, Gary, Jan, Serene, Chat, Monica, Joel, Ryder, Ronnie, Nelson, Lulu, Glenn, Dominga, Pilar, Arnell, Marilyn, Ernesto, Randall, Chris, Alfredo R, Brian, Sandy, Cora S, Brianna, Dan, Gabby, Lynn, Tomo, Marilyn, Barbara, Charlesta. Lord, lift us up 
for your blessings today. We pray that you will anoint us with strength and self-care today, tomorrow, and always. We pray that you will grace us with patience and wisdom. We pray that you will encourage us throughout the day to take the correct steps to walk proudly and behave well. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I love doing this because it's a, a format by which we pray for everyone on our pastoral care prayer list by name. And I think that's very important. And um, just so that you know, it was very important to my mother uh, when she was in hospice care. She said she loved hearing her name on Chicken Chat every week. So uh, there we go. We have uh, saints this week, Benedict of Nursia, uh, Nathan Satterblom, Conrad Weiser, Samson Oakham, and Argala von Grumbach. Argala, not Arugula, like I keep wanting to say, but Argala von Grumbach. Now, Argala von Grumbach, a uh, scholar and a social, uh, not a social, but a church reformer, a uh, Bavarian writer and a uh, noble woman um, who became the first Protestant woman writer and she wrote and published letters and poems uh, defending Martin, Martin Luther and his stance um, against the Roman Catholic Church and um, she became really famous for directly challenging the University of Ingolstadt's faculty when she wrote uh, against their arresting a Lutheran student. Uh, she was very outspoken and very open in her writings and then people tried to quash them and the more they quashed them the more popular she became. Uh, she wrote a um, another letter uh, after a young teacher was arrested for his Protestant views and and was forced to recant. Uh, that would have been a very quiet incident except that Argula was just furious about it and she wrote was what was to become her best known epistle a letter to the faculty in the university objecting to his arrest and exile and the letter said that the university should follow scripture and not roman traditions uh the letter was turned into a booklet and it provoked this huge reaction and um, greatly angered theologians uh, and became an overnight sensation. You know, we, we've got to give, it, uh, give credit to these change agents in our midst. Um, they the theologians couldn't control the spread of Argola's ideas and they wanted to arrest her. And um, her husband lost his position uh, over this controversy and um, all she did was write poems in response to the slander against her. Even her own family uh, shunned her because of her writings, but she also had a great number of uh, admirers. So um, she was undeterred, she continued writing, and uh, she even traveled alone to Nuremberg, which was unheard of for women at that time. And there she encouraged German princes to accept the principles of the Reformation. So along with Martin Luther, uh, Argola was an important figure uh, during the Protestant Reformation. And so we honor her uh, as one of the saints this week. Uh, the chicken of the week, everybody. Okay, so you know that when Dixie and I were in the Philippines, we were taking videos of chickens galore. And there was this one chicken in the town of Solsona uh, where we did our uh, two-day retreat, uh, led our two-day retreat for the clergy there. And uh, while we were walking around in the town, uh, the town square in Solsona, which is beautiful and immaculate, by the way, Solsona got a reward for the greenest and most beautiful town I don't know if it was in the country or in the province, but anyway, it's, it's very, very well manicured and very, very well maintained. But anyway, uh, there was this chicken in the park and uh, this chicken was really unusual. It had a long featherless neck and um, 
was prancing around the yard pecking at the grass and things and I said oh look at that chicken and one of the ladies who was escorting us said oh that's a cobra chicken uh, it's unique you know so that's a cobra chicken and so we would like to name the chicken of the week this week cobra cobra oh I'm getting hiccups when I say cobra let me try again cobra the congratulations <laughs> for being chicken of the week cobra we're very proud of you i hope you can cure my hiccups take care everybody and god bless bye now